the unclaimed amount left on the table by pro policyholders, property insurance policyholders, for the assessment necessary each year to amortize the just over $1 billion of bonds that Louisiana citizens had to float in order to finish paying the claims caused by Hurricane Katrina. Each year, there's a 4% assessment added to every property insurance policy in the state. Commercial, residential, renter's policies, all of them are assessed in order to pay those bond, uh, bonds off, and that money is, by law, eligible to be accessed either, as I do it, through a state income tax uh, credit, dollar for dollar credit on your state income tax obligation, or by a cash rebate that you can get as soon as you pay your premium, or by going back, if you didn't do it, each year, back four years. End of this month, December 31st, $11 million will expire as to its eligibility for rebate and revert back to the general fund of the state. Thousands of policyholders are entitled to that $11 million in their proportionate share. And we're just trying to send that message out. And every time we do this with your help, the media's help, the phones ring a lot at the Department of Revenue and our department, which they can access the assistance needed to get that one-page form, four questions, name, address, policy number, and the amount of your assessment. Attach a copy of your deck sheet, either fax it or mail it in to the Department of Revenue, and in two weeks, you'll get a check back in the mail from them to uh, re refund you the amount of that money. You can't get it both ways. You can't get it as a tax credit and then get the cash rebate as well, but most folks understand that. Some do not and forget that they already claimed it on their tax or whatever. But, uh, but it's simple and it's unfortunate, but uh, many, many millions of dollars have gone unclaimed and reverted back to the state because obviously people just don't know that it's available and or how easy it is to access. And what uh, we're doing here today is bringing again to the attention of property owners around the state. Not only, I should uh, uh, qualify that, not just property owners and even not just residential as well as business property owners, but also renters and owners of mobile homes anyone who pays property insurance in the state of Louisiana is assessed on their policy each year, nowadays and since 2007, exclusively for the purpose of amortizing the just over $1 billion worth of bonds that were issued by citizens after the events of 2005, and primarily and, and frankly only because of the over $1 billion in claims that citizens experienced as a result of Hurricane Katrina. If it had not been for Katrina, if it had just been for Rita, citizens would have had enough cash on hand and reinsurance in place to have avoided the necessity of a bond issue. But with the devastation of Katrina, it was necessary for citizens, in fact, it was my first month in office in 2006, that we went to Wall Street and sold over a billion dollars worth of bonds, second largest bond issue in the history of the state of Louisiana. And after that bond issue was sold, it became necessary and continues to be necessary for about another 15 years for the Board of Citizens to assess every policy, property insurance policy in the state of Louisiana the amount necessary each year to meet that year's debt obligation. It typically runs 4% these days. It was almost 5% initially. But as we reduce the indebtedness, paying off some bonds, as premiums inflate and rise, the percentage necessary to be applied to the um, premiums of everyone is gradually reducing. But as we speak, there, there remains some $11,500,000 of unclaimed money available to policyholders 
for the year 2007 assessment of what originally was $70 million. Better than any other year, policyholders have accessed 60 million of that 70 million they were assessed in 2007. But the last 11 million will expire, prescribe, December 31st of this year. So by the end of this year, that $11 million that is available to policyholders will no longer be available. Last year, the total assessment was over $250 million for the year 2006. And of that $250 million, approximately, well, $100 million of it, I actually, I think if I recall correctly, I don't have that number in front of me, it might have been $150 million of it went unclaimed and prescribed. That first year was, thank you, that first year was what's referred to as the regular assessment. I call it, uh, for discussion purposes, the cash call assessment. It was approximately 15%, and it was done in October of 2005, collected in 2006, and it was to get cash in immediately to begin paying claims after Rita and Katrina. Since 2006, 2007 and forward, and you will see on the attachment to the press release that has just been handed out, what the amount of each of those assessments has been in order to amortize the bonds I mentioned earlier. Uh, I will at this time ask Mr. Uh, Matthew, I'm sorry, Mr. Mathern to uh, come talk to us a little bit about the mechanism, the process that the uh, Department of Revenue utilizes in order to uh, allow policyholders to access their rebate. Mr. Mathern. Thank you, Commissioner. I appreciate the um, time and, and the opportunity to uh, support the effort that you have here in uh, trying to urge our citizens to uh, take advantage of this refund that is available to them through this credit. Uh, we appreciate your efforts in trying to uh, make that awareness a constant uh, movement in, in uh, terms of notifying the citizens of the state. Uh, our process is really pretty simple. Uh, it really is a matter of filing a form and or requesting the uh, credit, the refundable credit, uh, on your individual income tax when you file your individual income tax. So it's fairly simple, it really is. And actually we have a sample of the form here with us this afternoon if someone wants to just uh, go online, which they can do, and we actually are showing a web, a web address. Uh, this is www.revenue, uh, sorry, revenuelouisiana.gov slash citizens. Uh, will lead you directly to the forms for this particular um, uh, credit refund. So uh, if people will just go out and fill this out. It's a one pager here. Of course, if you have multiple properties, there's a supplemental form that goes along with it. And just submit both of those forms if you have supplemental properties. Uh, and of course, a declaration from your insurance company that has to be attached to the forms and or to your uh, uh, return once you do uh, your income tax return. So it's pretty simple, just fill those out, get that to us, and uh, there is a reminder. I'd like to uh, perhaps ask uh, Mr. Laplace to come up and sort of share with you what some of the items are that we would suggest uh, you pay attention to so that we don't delay the refund. Uh, there are some little uh, tweaks that need to happen to make sure that uh, you're, you don't have a delay in getting that money back to you. So Mr. Laplace, if you don't mind for a second. Good afternoon. The first thing to do is, of course, check on your 2007 tax return and make sure you haven't filed for this already. If you have, do not file another claim because we will only issue one rebate. Um, if you have more than one property, as was stated earlier, you lump them all together on one form. Do not send in separate properties. As the schedule that were, you were given showing the various years, you have to file a separate form for each year. Don't lump all the years on one form. Uh, if you um, 
have filed a claim already and file another claim, it could possibly ho impact your uh, tax return for the upcoming year. Uh, if you have filed one claim already, you have to file another one, do so. But again, we will review that second claim to ensure that the information on the second claim was not re refunded on the first claim already. Um, again, check your records to make sure you haven't done filed a claim already. If you have not filed one, then go ahead and uh, file another one. Uh, for your 2007 tax return, you can check line 20, which is the line that the, re the refund would have been claimed on. If there is no amount in there and you do not remember filing the uh, copy of the form you have here, then please, by all means, file that form prior to January 1st. If it's in the mail, the U.S. mail, by December 31st, and we don't receive it till next year, we will process it because it's postmarked by December 31st. If it's postmarked January 1st, 2012, or delivered to the department pro after that date, then it is prescribed and you cannot claim that refund. I yeah. uh, just want to reiterate, uh, please uh, do not uh, try to send in both your in the request for the refund on both the uh, form that we have and your income tax return. Only use one, don't do both, uh, because that creates a problem for you in terms of, uh, for the citizens, in terms of uh, possible re uh, uh, delays, because we do review those if we get duplicate efforts that are coming into the department. Uh, also, a reminder that uh, when you do claim, you do not claim your total premium. You only claim the assessment that is shown on your declaration pertinent to citizens. So not your total premium. So make sure you do that, and that will also, uh, if you did that, that would also delay your refund. So uh, again, we hope uh, our citizens take advantage of this. And uh, again, please feel free to use our website uh, to locate the farm and are, of course, uh, when you file your regular uh, annual income tax. The uh, best ways to um, file for this re refund uh, first is to actually do the uh, individual income tax uh, annually. It has a space there that where you can claim this uh, refund credit. The other is to go online and use our form, the 540 INS and uh, actually complete that form and that can be sent in. Uh, one of the things that we want to remind everybody of is to make sure to not claim your full premium, but only the amount that is uh, due uh, from the actual assessment of uh, citizens. Uh, so just makes it real easy. Uh, if you have also, if you have multiple properties, there is a supplemental form that you should complete and attach to, excuse me, the form that uh, you do send in and also make sure that you send in your declaration that comes from your insurance company because uh, that's an additional documentation we have to have for the processing. Recall that when you're filing the form, please do not submit both a annual return and or the 540 INS, only submit one uh, because if you submit both, it will suspend uh, in our system so that it will delay your possible refund. So just make sure you send one of those in to us and that way it will uh, expedite your re receiving the refund in turn. If you need assistance and don't know how to access it, go to our website, www.ldi.la.gov, G-O-V, or call us, 1-800-259-5300, 800-259-5300. And we'll help you through the process.